Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is over there. This reflex image and this video tutorial will be showing you how to do a Christmas photo manipulation. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. In this video, I'll be dropping all my Christmas editing pack for you guys to download for free. But if you are the type that already have my video course, I don't think you need all this. You just have to go through my video and then check out what you need there. So here's the video course I'm talking about. Reflex plus video course. So it will show you how to get all the overlays and the PNG files you need now and in the near future. So any overlays you need, any PNG file, you can actually get them there. But that's not a big deal. All the files I'll be using in this video will be dropped for you free of charge so this is just for people we need to get other files by themselves instead of buying files from anywhere and you can as well buy my overlay files my png and so on so with no further ado let's jump into business So as we all know, this is what we want to achieve here or something similar to this. So let's go to the file we'll be making use of. Here's the file over here. So in this picture, I've already removed the background. As you can see right now, I've removed the background. I've cleaned off the blemishes. Here's what the background looks like before. Here's the size of the studio background. Uh, it has some tones over here, which we already did the amendments. We did the amendments. We expand it can see and we added some gradient map over there so the next thing for we to do now is to bring in all the files we'll be making use of firstly before i put in my overlay i love placing my png files in my picture before dragging the overlay so that i will just know what i want to do perfectly so now let's go to the location where all our png files are so we'll keep dragging them in one after the other so i'll go to my desktop here's where it's located so this is the file over here i'll click on it all this file and all that's will drop for you guys to get for free to download for free like and use for your own photo manipulation this festive period so firstly let me increase the size and start breaking my png files i'll be using all these simultaneously so let me drag this in first or pick into my photoshop so i'll reduce the size i'll reduce the size so once I get to where I want to place it, I'll just click on my OK and drop it there. But as you can see, it's obvious that we brought it in because there's no shadow here. And it has some white edges over here. So there's no problem with that. So I'm going to amend that in the near future. So let's go back to our file manager and drag in some other files again. So let me drag in this other Christmas present also. So I'll pick it into my Photoshop. So I'll just stay the way I want it to be. But this time around, this has to be at the front, not at the back. So I'll click on my OK. I'll going to, I'm going to drag it above my model layer over here. So I'll drag it to the top of it. So I'll bring it down. So it's going to be covering my leg. As you can see right now, I'll drag it down. As you can see. So as you can see right now, it's already showing a little bit more realistic. Because the picture, the PNG file we are bringing in, has no shadow so it's going to be obvious that we brought in the png file and it's going to be hard to create a shadow like this for a picture like this so we are going to make sure we drag it to a place that we won't uh, no, we no longer need to add a shadow to it so let me increase the size a little bit ctrl t then i'll increase the size i'm going to place in a place that i will no longer need a shadow somewhere around there is okay so i'll go back to my file manager again bring in another file so let me bring in this bag over here this gift present and i'll drag it to this right hand side so i reduce the size i'll reduce it it's too big i'll still bring it down a little bit i can also create a shadow for this but i will i will leave it this way just to speed up the tutorial if you want to learn how to create shadow by yourself the video will be dropping very soon probably january 1 
I'll drop a video on how to create shadow or any on any PNG file you brought in and also how to create a shadow for your model in case you want to change the background completely. So let's go back to our file manager and drag in another file again. This is another gift pack. Let me drag it to Photoshop. So I'm going to reduce the size. I'll reduce the size of the box. So I'll drag it down somewhere around there is okay. I'll click on my OK. So let me bring in another file again. I'll still repeat this particular part over here to make sure here is fully occupied. So I'll reduce the size again. I'll bring it down just to make sure here is fully occupied. So let me increase the size a little bit. As you can see right now. So we're done with that. But the issue there is now, the issue there now is that we only really applying most of these files above our leg. So let's add some at the back of our legs so that it's going to be a little bit more realistic to also. So I'm going to click on my model below my model layer, the, the first layer below my model layer, which is this layer 11 I have over here. So I'll click on it, I'll go back to my file manager, and I'll pick in a, I'll pick a file also. I can pick this again, I'll drag into my Photoshop. So I'll just reduce the size of the bag. I'll reduce it and I'll put it on any location I want it to be. I'll reduce it. I'll reduce it. I'll bring it up. I'll reduce it again. Just to make sure it's above. It's at the back. So that not so that it's not be that we are putting everything at the front. So I'll still reduce it. Bring it down. As you can see right now. So we brought in basically most of the gifts to be using right now so the next thing for us to bring in is to bring in our christmas tree so go back to file manager uh, all these files i'm using right there is i did download them from the size that is in the video course so you can get any png files there any png any overlay including lots baby files anything you need now or in the near future so it's just 40 dollars for now you can actually get a video course there and learn where to get all your files yourself, the overlays, the PNG, so on and so forth, without you needing to buy from anywhere ever again. So let me bring in my first Christmas tree. So I'll bring these and I'll drag it into my Photoshop. As you can see, they are very easy to use. They are PNG files, so you don't need to start moving the background yourself again. So let me drag my Christmas tree. As you can see, once I place it, I'll click on my OK. But right now it's already covering the dove, uh, the bag would drop it over here so we are going to bring it below that bag as you can see the bag is now showing again but the next thing i'll do is to bring the second christmas tree we are we're going to be making it up to christmas tree i'll go back to my file manager again i'll look for the second christmas tree you can use this over here or you can still use the same one which is this one too but i'll be using this one i'll drag it back to my photoshop so I'll increase the size, increase the size. So I'll click on my OK. So I'll bring it down below this. As you can see. But the issue we have in there is that this tree in particular has some whitish background, some whitish look. It's not perfectly cropped. So let's delete this and bring in another overlay. So let's see if this will work perfectly for what we need it for. So we'll take it back to our Photoshop. So let's increase the size, let's increase it. As you can see, let's still increase it again. Let's see if it's going to work for what we need it for. So click on our OK button, which fits in perfectly. So let me just bring it to the edge a little bit. So we're almost done with our manipulation. The next thing for we to do, uh, I want to add some lights to the Christmas tree. So I'll be bringing this file into Photoshop. So I'll drag into Photoshop. So as you can see, unlike the rest of the PNG file, this came with its own background. So we are going to kill that background. Firstly, let me drag it to the location I want it to be, which is here. Then I'll drag it to the uppermost layer or above the tree layer, which is here, as you can see right now. Then I'll change the blend mode from normal. I'll change it to screen. So what the screen does is that it kills all the black background for us here. So once I am done with that, I just have to click on my OK first. And I'll click on Ctrl T to transform. 
and I'll hold down my control key then I'll amend it so that it's going to be on the tree alone not also on the background so I'm holding down my control key while I'm dragging so that I just want it to overlap with the tree alone so once I'm done with that all I need to do is just to click on my OK button so we have added the Christmas tree lights over here so we can do that to this part also all we just need to do is to go back to our fire manager click on it then we'll bring in the light again so we take it to photoshop then we'll drag it to this side expand it then we'll click on our ok so this time around we really make, need we really need this one so we are up to delete this one first just have to right click on it click on rasterize layer and I'll select that area out, then click on delete key. I'll be using my rectangle mark with it to do that. So I'll just select this area and then I'll click on delete. So control D to deselect. So my blending mode now still change it from normal. I'll change it to screen again. As you can see. So click on control T and it hold down my control key and adjust it to the location I want it to be. So that it's going to lap with the tree. You can see right now boom so added the christmas lights so already we have added some lightning to our christmas tree so which is very good you can actually leave everything like this but i just want everything to be choked so i want to exhaust all the files that i have to make a nice manipulation and i'll go back to my file manager again i'll bring this in i'll drag it to my photoshop you can see i'll drag it in Okay, I'll put it somewhere around there, which is okay. I'll click on my OK button. I'll still go back again. I'll bring in another file, which is this. Oh no, I should use this. This is the one I use in the video. I use in the picture. So I'll just drag into Photoshop. All you just need to be doing once you have all the files, just object placement. Drag it anywhere you want it to be. Place it. You can decide to do a extreme manipulation like this, or you can also as well go with just a simple manipulation by using just your plain studio background, then adding just the PNG files, which are this uh, and a Christmas tree, then leave your background the way it is. So it's not necessary for you to go on extreme end to do a manipulation like this, but I'm just showing you how far you can go with the manipulation. You can as well decide to do a simple manipulation with the files you have. You know, some clients love just been real they just love simple manipulation why some love extreme like this so and i prefer doing an extreme manipulation like this so you can as well leave it with a simple maybe like two three gift boxes uh, a christmas tree then you color grade your picture you retouch it then you are good to go but i love doing something extreme when it comes to my manipulation at times so that's why i'm going to an extreme end to do a manipulation like this so let's say we're done with bringing in all our png files the next thing we need to do is to bring in our background man our background overlay so we're using make use of this as our background overlay so let me go back to my photoshop and get things in order so if i were to be adding our background manipulation now everything will be adding we have to be below all the objects we just brought in now which is our png files so here is the last png file i brought in so i'm going to click the layer below which is my gradient uh gradient uh, color which i use in balancing my studio background so i'll click on it now and i'll go back to my file manager then bring in this file i have over here so i'll drag it to my photoshop as you can see so all i have to do now is just to increase the size so i'll increase the size of it i'll increase the size until i see fit now I'll click on my ok as you can see right now this is basically what i did in the previous video it's too much just reduce it reduce it do you see fit so that's it We've already done a simple sorry a very extreme photo manipulation when it comes to christmas background so the next thing we need to do is to start color grading now so firstly i'll color grade the skin differently and also color grade the background differently As you guys all know i love using just a simple background just a simple color grading file for my manipulation but this time around i'll be using two one for the background and also one for the skin so with no further ado let's jump into that let's start the skin color grading so for me to color grade the screen i have to click on my model layer right now 
So I'll click on it and I'll go to my adjustment layer, click on color lookup. So I'll pick the color I want. I'll be using my wedding lots, which I love using the most. I'll click on it. You can see it did a perfect job for us, color grading everything all together. But this is not what I want. I want a low light image for everything. You can just leave it like this, just drag it to the uppermost layer, drag it there. You can see it did all the color grading for us. All you just have to do is just reduce the opacity. But this is not what I need. Ctrl Z. So I have to drag it to where my model layer is. Then I'll right click on it. Click the clipping mask. So it's going to affect my model alone. But this color is a little bit too much. So I just have to reduce the opacity. I'll bring down the opacity. Okay, this is okay. So the next thing I'll have to do now. I want to add a little bit of vintage to the edge. The edge is too bright. So I want to add a vintage to everything all together. So the best way for me to do that is, is to click on the first layer, the uppermost layer, which is this. So after I click on it, I just have to go to my market over here and I'll click on, click on the air clip car. So I'll click on it. I'll hold down my shift key. Then I'll draw a cycle around my model like this. I'll adjust it to where I want it to be. So I'll, all I have to do now is to invert the selection by clicking on Ctrl Shift and I. So it's going to select every other part apart from my model. Then I'll just go to my adjustment layer over here. I'll click on my solid color. Then I'll make sure I fill it with black. So once I'm done with that, I have to click on my OK button. So once I'm done with that, under the property, I'll make sure I click on my max over here. So once I click on my max, it's going to bring in my property for me. So in case it did not load up my properties, so I'll just have to go to my window, under window, I'll search where properties, which is here. Then I'll click on it, it's going to bring up the panel for me. Then I'll click on my feather, I'll feather it. I'll be using about 500 for my feather. 500, let me see. Okay, about 646, as you can see right now. Then I'll click on my OK. Let's all I have to do now is just to reduce the opacity. So, 32. So, let me show you the before and after of that. Here's the before and here's the after. So, it darkens the picture for us a little bit, especially the edges of the picture. So, the final step is just for me to add my last color lookup, which you guys know I love using the most, which is my chocolate color. So, I just have to go to my adjustment layer, click on it, click on my color lookup, then I'll Click on load 3D lot. Then I'll search for my chocolate color, which is this. I'll click on it. Automatically, it's going to color grade it for us. Just have to reduce the opacity a little bit if it's too dark. You can see right now. We don't basically what to see they are going to do. So here's the one I showed before. And here's the result of the one I just did now. So that's all for today's tutorial guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any questions you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you are interested in getting my video course, just have to go to my store, the link is in the description, you can get the link there and uh, purchase all you need. There are lots of presets and lots of files for you to get there. So thanks for watching, see you guys on my next tutorial, see you guys next year. One love guys.